part of my job today is to take pictures of of uh, the new eighth grade small group. So eighth grade, this is where you're going to be. But I need to take a picture of it for our brochure. So that is eighth grade is where you're going to be for your small group. Just another part of a busy day, going out and preparing things for student ministry. It's a beautiful day out here today. I decided just to come over here after walking down to uh, the new 8th grade small group meeting at the barber shop. And I decided to come here because I used to come out here and do my quiet time out here. I've slacked doing my quiet time out here, still doing my office, but it's not the same as doing out here. Spending time with God in nature is such an incredible thing. We see the water behind us, we see the grass, we see the sky, we see all these trees, and it's flat out beautiful out here. In Genesis, God created the heavens and the earth. He created the grass, He created the water, He created you, and he created me. He loves us. And he made this beautiful place for us. And he did it in six days. Just six days. After he created all of it, in six days he took a break. He rested up. Now God did not need to rest because God is all powerful. He could have continued going on from day to day to day to day to day and would not even be winded a little bit. But he did that to give us an example that we need to take a break. Our lives are so busy and God from the beginning of time, the beginning of all this creation, he knew that we as human beings need to take breaks. So I want to challenge you. If you have not been out to a park at night, if you have not been out and about looking at the beautiful stars in the sky, looking at the moon, you need to go out and do it. Go out and enjoy God's beautiful creation and take a break. and it reminded me that it is 2.30 and I have to go pick up my kids. I have to take Madison to gymnastics. Um, I have to pick up my kids and um, take them wherever they need to go. Um, go kind of do some chores and stuff like that. Um, as well as study for some of my seminary classes uh, that, that I need to take. So here we go, 2.30. The chaos in business is about to start, uh, so hold on tight and hopefully I don't bore you too much with, with my life. Now I'm sitting down um, seeing what I need to do for my seminary class. Um, it looks like I have um, a four to five pa page paper, not that bad, probably about 300 pages to read in like three different books. Um, and then I have to get ready for teaching a lesson. Um, in different formats. Go to gymnastics. So, say, Daddy, take me to gymnastics. Take me to gymnastics. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Well, I just got back to church, and as you can see, we've got Mr. Eric over there coming already on his phone because he's always busy. Ethan, come on. Mr. Eric, what do you think is the best way to get students to balance or to simplify their life today? I am still trying to figure that out. Well, give us something for hope for these students. How can these students simplify their life? Just say no. Well, here I am Ooh. again. I'm about to enter my house, but unfortunately, I've not been able to pick up the camera and talk to you guys because I have been extremely busy. So, all that to say, it's been about three hours since we talked last. 
but it's time to eat um, and then I've got a volleyball game to go to. So. I'm out of breath. Just another thing how in life you can't necessarily simplify that even though I'm on the way to a volleyball game a little bit late it's 620 right now and another part of life going out and supporting you guys as students which I love to do but I just don't like chasing dogs. Well we're here at Winter Haven High School about to watch a volleyball game. It is 625 and it seems like the game has already started so we'll see um, what's going on but here we go. So, how how can the teenagers of today simplify their life? How can they balance their life better? How can we balance it better? Yeah. With all this stuff going on, how can we balance our life, simplify our life better? Take a time for quiet time. Ooh, wow. Ooh, that's a Jesus answer. You can be more organized. Organized, all right. Okay. What? Sleep a lot. <laughs> Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Alright. Um, get more organized. Organized. Explain that a little bit more. Um, just prioritize their life. Things that they want to do most, put those first. Do your homework. Don't do your homework. Don't do your homework. That'll simplify and then your do life. do everything else and then you'll have perfect time. Oh. A planner. Planner. So kind of be organized or not? Yeah. Yeah. Prioritize, cut the stuff at the bottom of the list. Right. Do you think your life is simple? Why is it not simple? <laughs> what makes it complex? Volleyball. Well, I just got done at the volleyball game. Uh, Winter Haven did win. It was a great game. It came down to um, overtime. And it was just awesome. I was expected to come home, or Rachel wanted me home about um, 8 o'clock. She kept on kind of texting me and saying, hey, what time are you going to be home? I'm like, I don't know. Um, I told her 8 o'clock because that's what time I thought the game would be over with. But when it comes to time and simplifying your life, you have to be flexible. I think that's one thing about Daddy. simplifying your life. You, you just have to be flexible because if you're not flexible, you are going to be spontaneously interrupted with things as my cell phone. And that's probably Rachel saying, yep, that's she, there she is, my beautiful wife saying, what time are you coming home? And I think you always have to be flexible or you're going to be stressed out. So time to go to bed. She is definitely ready to go to bed. There's nothing simpler than in life than putting your own kid to bed and hearing them pray and talk to God. Simple prayers like that, God still hears. Talk about a simple life, eat, sleep, play, hang out with your parents. I think that's the way God intended it to be anyway. So as Madison goes to sleep and I'm about to go to sleep, um, remember, this is where simplicity should be at in our busy life. So, see you night. Well, it's been a good day. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. It is about 10.30 at night. I'm just taking out my dog for the very last time. Um, and I'm tired. I'm tired. Kind of reminds me of a verse, uh, Matthew 11:28. 28. It says, come to me, Jesus says, come to me when you are weary and burdened. I think our lives are definitely filled with worries and burdens and um, crazy lives and stuff but then Jesus said hey you know what you can come to me even though you're tired and you're just wanting a break but the only way that you can find rest is through him that's what he says he's like come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest all these great uh, things in life keep you busy but Jesus Christ wants to give us rest. And he knows we're going to get tired. 
So as I'm about to go to sleep here in a bit, just remember that. Just remember that throughout life, however busy it is, we need a rest. So good night, and I will see you um, on Wednesday.